Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Bonky Cook here, aka the Lonely Achievement God. And I'm coming at you today with a video for Wilmot's Warehouse. This is a pretty short one. It is just the time lapse of my Zen playthrough. For those of you who uh, don't want to sit through the entire thing, you can see uh, a you know much quicker version of the organization method I use for my warehouse. If that's all you're looking for, this is going to be perfect for you. Uh, you can uh, slow down this video using YouTube as well and see it at like a, uh, I think you can slow it all the way down to like 0.25 speed. It's still like a little too fast to be able to follow it, but you can use it uh, as a reference for yourself. Uh, I will be going through and showing off uh I'll try to explain some of the different decisions as we go through here. Uh, I don't know exactly how long this time lapse lasts. I think it's a like two or three minutes. So uh, to start, pretty simple. Things near the top. As we get more items in, I move the the colors around. Um, as you can see, yellows in the top left, dark blue bottom left, red and orange and white in the top right, and bl uh, light blues in the bottom right. You'll also see the purples and dark purples coming in in middle and to bottom left there as well. And that's how it starts uh, and basically is the, the, the way it goes for the entire playthrough. I just make a few uh, adjustments depending on which colors I'm getting more items uh, of in my deliveries. Uh, as you can see, I've started organizing them into quadrants now. That's what I tend to do when the pillars go away. If you go through and upgrade, get the pillar uh, upgrades to remove the pillars. And then I have little uh, sections near the center of the warehouse where the quadrants meet, where I drop off the deliveries and then resort them into the quadrants during the stock take sessions. And that's basically the entirety of this. Uh, that's the, the basics of what I do. Now, some... Uh, you'll notice that I do leave avenues for uh, for moving uh, through the quadrants. You can start in the middle there uh, and move right to left and then up and down through the back rows so you can access all of the rows all the way through. Uh, the only thing you're going to want to keep in mind is not you will there are 500 different items so if RNG gives you more dark blue items than normal you have to you know, make some adjustments, maybe move the purples to a different area, move the patterns to a different area, do what, you know, however you want to do it. I actually didn't get very many patterns on this playthrough, so I didn't have a separate section for them. But uh, The only thing you run into is in the last 20 minutes or so, well, well 20 minutes, the last uh, 20 items or so, you're going to want to uh, p potentially watch the, the last part of my video just to get an idea for what I do, because I start moving, and you can see it there, the groupings of three in between the the stacks and the quadrant, the rows in the quadrant, because you start running out of items. Uh, I also use the outer walls there, as you can tell, as the extra storage when I have more than ten of an item. Uh, I think that's about it. And this should end pretty quick here. Yep, I was right. So that's all there is to it. Um, 